Top story this morning, thousands of protesters across the country stand in solidarity in response to the death of George, George Floyd. He was an unarmed black man who died while in police custody in Minneapolis, Minnesota. One of the latest protests taking place right here in Fayetteville. That's where we find Fox 24's and Kirika Azuka with more on the social impact of Tuesday's protest. And Kirika, good morning to you. This protest remained peaceful, unlike the one we saw Monday in Bentonville. Yes, right. Good morning, Tavares. So organizers of this protest wanted to ensure they stressed the importance of this protest staying peaceful, and protesters were actually the ones who were helping make sure that that happened. Now, our Fox 24 team was out from the beginning of the protest until the end here in the Fayetteville Square. Organizers told crowds that if they had any plans to cause a riot or to cause any type of violence, that they would need to leave. Now, this is especially important to note because we had several viewers email us and tell us about a flyer that was encouraging people to loot. Now, police were not seen wearing tactical gear. Faithful police chief Mike Reynolds and his whole department were showing solidarity with protesters during the event by kneeling with everyone for eight minutes, which is about the same amount of time former officer Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin had his knee on Floyd's neck. Now, there were a few moments of tension during last night's protest. Protesters reportedly started lighting fireworks on Central Street. There were water bottles thrown and heated discussions with officers. However, again, protesters were policing each other, shutting down things when it got out of hand. And there was also a moment where people were running away. However, police cannot confirm what happened and what caused that. Now, at last check, which was around 11.30 last night, faithful police say there were no arrests made and there was no tear gas used. They say that there may have been pepper spray used, but it's unclear if that came from police or protesters. Live in Fayetteville, Kira Kazuka, Fox 24 News.